It's early September on the Jersey coast. The mid-range yellowfin bite had run hot and cold, but Casey, Colin, Wes, and I decided to give it a shot. The afternoons had been more productive, so we got to sleep in a bit and leave at daybreak. After spending some time netting live peanut bunker, we cleared the inlet and pointed the bow east towards the shipping lanes. About 15 minutes into the run, we received a text from one of my good friends who was into bluefin only 8 to 10 miles off the beach. After some debate, we decided to spin the boat and see if we could capitalize on the bluefin bite before heading off for yellows. Upon arriving to the grounds, we could clearly see land for how close we were inshore. But sure enough, there were birds working and it looked fishy. But were there really tuna? Not long into our first drift, we got our answer. There we go. Tight, baby. Tight, baby. Darn. Uh, are you, is your belt in here? I saw the, the hook facing the other way. I was going to plug. I was like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah, that didn't come out very uh, hard. I don't think that's enough. After getting Collins 52 inch over in the boat and on ice, we reset the drift, and not long after, Wes came tight on a fish of his own. That's a nice blow up. Yeah. Switch to the white. I'm gonna try to get you up in the bow. Damn. Right here. Right here. This fish came to the boat rather quickly and we determined that it was under 46 inches and therefore able to be harvested. Under? Okay. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, that's, a, that's an under. Okay. 
While we could have kept one more under for the day, we decided to switch gears and run another 35 miles off to our intended destination to try to get on some yellowfin. In there. Right behind it. Once we got close to our intended destination, we could see slicks and giant groups of storm petrels, aka tuna chicks, all over the surface one of the best signs of subsurface tuna feeding in the area. Oh, there he is. Ah, missed it. Ah. <laughs> oh, I can see him flashing under the pop. Oh, I see him right there. Okay, we're marking the shit out. Oh, oh my god, it's a shark. Guys, it's a shark. The shark is going to grab all those. There's another one over there. There's fish right there. There's fish in with him. Whoa! Alright. Going to move this out of the way? Yeah. Look how we're marking them. Oh, wow. A yellow. While the yellowfin were on the smaller side, we still had a blast putting a few in the box as a bonus on top of the bluefin from the morning. That's a yellowfin. Oh yeah, that's a yellowfin. It's not every day that you can catch both yellowfin and bluefin tuna on light tackle, and to get a few within sight of land was a really special treat. So as the afternoon went on, and with the wind picking up, we decided to point the bow for home with a great day burned into the memory banks. <laughs> 